Nestled about 150 miles to the south of San Francisco and 300 miles to the north of Los Angeles, the enchanting realm of Big Sur unfurls along the meandering stretch of Scenic Highway 1. This ethereal wonderland owes its name to a realm untouched and uncharted, a wild expanse that traces the coastal contours south of Monterey. The very words Big Sur cascade from the lips, embodying the essence of grandeur in the Spanish phrase El Sur Grande, a lyrical translation that speaks of the vast southern realm. Imagine the sun's fiery kiss scorching the land, a memory etched in weathered stones. On that fateful June 20th, 2008, the mercury surged to an astonishing 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.9 degrees Celsius. An embrace of heat that lingered in the air like an ardent lover's touch. In stark contrast, the chill of December 21st, 1998 and January 13th, 2007 whispered tales of frigid embrace with temperatures as low as 27 degrees Fahrenheit, 2.8 degrees Celsius, freezing the heart of the land in an icy grip. In the dance of rainfall and seasons, January 1995 painted an indelible portrait of a watery symphony as 26.47 inches, 672 millimeters of rain, descended from the heavens, drenching the earth in a record-breaking cascade. From the bygone years of 1914 to the cusp of 1987, rainfall serenaded Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park, where the annual average of around 43 inches, 109 centimeters, quenched the Earth's thirst. Yet, nature is a capricious painter, dabbing its brush with variations. In the drought-stricken years of 1975 to 1976, the parched land received a mere 15 inches, 39 centimeters of rain. A stark contrast to the lush embrace of 85 inches, 216 centimeters, in 1982 to 1983. From the toil of prisoners seeking redemption sprang the magnificent Bixby Bridge, a colossal titan spanning 714 feet, soaring a towering height of 260 feet. With a single span, it reached for the heavens, a testament to human resilience amidst the wild expanse of Big Sur. Venture deep into the embrace of the Santa Lucia Mountains, where there you shall find the elusive Santa Lucia fir, a rarity among the green canopy. Among the giants, the Monterey Pine, once a stranger, now weaves its tail here. Curiously, it took centuries to cross the windswept gap to Big Sur, from its native sanctuary in the Monterey Peninsula, where homeowners cultivated it as a swift shield against the elements. In the bosom of this land, Tan Oak, Coast Live Oak, and California Bay Laurel stand as sentinels of the earth. As the rain's touch fades, the scenery morphs into a tapestry of open oak woodland, later dissolving into the resilient embrace of fire-tolerant California, Chaparral Scrub. Amidst the whispers of the wind, the heartbeats of predators and prey resonate through the Big Sur River Basin. Here mountain lions prowl, deer bound, foxes dart, coyotes weave their songs, and the bristle of the non-native wild boars echoes in the woods. These Russian-bred intruders, brought in the 1920s by George Gordon Moore of Rancho San Carlos, etched their presence into this realm. Shielded by the guardianship of Los Padres National Forest and the Ventana Wilderness, the river thrives, a lifeline untamed and unspoiled. And then a melody resonates. The Beach Boys' California Saga, California, written in 1973, a harmonious tale, painting the rugged landscape in the very essence of the dweller's spirit of Big Sur. In a realm where technology meets nature, Mac OS Big Sur, unveiled June 22, 2020, emerges as a digital homage, its name a tribute to this landscape, a fusion of the virtual and the tangible. A chronicle of transformation, this realm evolved from a wilderness of yore, crisscrossed by cattle ranches and modest farms. 
a spark of electricity only breathed life into this land in the mid-1950s, a testament to time's unfolding embrace. Robinson Jeffers, the poet, captured the splendor of Big Sur and the solitude of its pioneers in verses like Women at Point Sur in 1927. A monument to his words, his dwelling, constructed from the earth's own bones, stands as a sentinel. Echoing his musings, writers like Henry Miller and Jack Kerouac walked these lands, weaving their tales into the fabric of Big Sur. Monterey County officials wove a zoning tapestry in the mid-1980s. A guardian of the 68-mile, 109-kilometer shoreline, curving and cresting a canvas painted with reverence for restraint, preserving the sanctity of Big Sur's natural embrace. These are Interesting Things with J.C.